How cool was that new intro? Well, hello everyone, I'm Rod Wortham, and welcome to this edition of Race Face Driver Updates. We had nine drivers in action over the weekend, so let's get started. Anthony Alfredo was at Darlington Raceway for the Throwback Goodyear 400 with a paint scheme honoring Alan Kowicki's 1985 Hardy's Ford Thunderbird. Anthony started the race from 25th position, ran as high as 4th, but had to replace a battery and suffered a speeding penalty on a green flag pit stop, eventually finishing in 26th. Up next for Anthony, this weekend at Dover International Speedway for the Dry Dean 400 on May 26th, live at 2 p.m. Eastern Time on FS1. Sheldon Creed was also at Darlington Raceway for the Camping World Truck Series throwback liftkitsforless.com 400 sporting a Jason Leffler paint scheme on his number two GMS Chevrolet. Sheldon started the race from the 15th position, finished stage one in fifth, stage two in eighth, and on a late race restart, Sheldon chose the inside to position himself on the front row and was able to take the lead and held on for his first Darlington win. Sheldon also picked up a cool 50,000 for winning the first race of the Triple Truck Challenge. Up next for Sheldon, Circuit of Americas on May 22nd. Joey East visited Nashville Fairgrounds for the first time in the Arkham Menard Series East in the Crosley Pressing 200 in his number 54 DGR Ford Mustang. Joey qualified fifth, ran as high as second, and eventually fought his way to his third consecutive top five finish in fifth. Joey currently sets fourth in points, only two points out of third, heading into this weekend's race at Dover International Speedway as he takes on Miles the Monster in the General Tire 125. You can catch all of that action live on NBC Sports Gold at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Jesse Love was also at Nashville Fairground Speedway for the North-South Super Challenge in his number 21 Wimmer Motorsports Toyota. Jesse topped the speed charts in practice on both Friday and Saturday, but suffered a mechanical issue early in the race, ending his day. Up next for Jesse, Arkham Menard Series Friday in Dover, Delaware. Then he heads to Winchester Speedway for the super late model Flyover States 150 on Tuesday. Joe Valento was at Ace Speedway for the Cars Tour race at Ace 125. Joe qualified his DGR number 17 Ford Mustang in 17th position and ran mid-pack for the first 50 laps. Joe moved into the top five on lap 51, then took over the fourth place position on lap 69. Joe got caught up in a late race incident, sending him to the back of the pack, but quickly rebounded for a top 10 finish in ninth. Up next, Cars Tour, Caraway Speedway, May 22nd. Caden Honeycutt pulled double duty over the weekend, competing in both the Cars Tour and his dirt late model. On Friday night, Caden was at Ace Speedway for the 125 lap Cars Tour main event where he qualified 12th and raced his number four Ford to a top 10 finish in seventh. Now off to Devil's Bowl and the dirt late model where he finished second in his heat race but experienced an overheating issue early in the feature race and had to park it for the night. Up next for Caden, dirt late models. 10,000 to win at Boot Hill Speedway in Greenwood, Louisiana on May 14th and 15th. Jake Bowman returned to one of his favorite tracks, the 3 8 mile bull ring at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Jake finished second in his heat race, started the A main in six, and brought home a third place finish in the feature. Up next for Jake, SRL Pro Late Models at All-American Speedway on May 22nd. Cassidy Hines returned to her number three Friends of Jacqueline Pro Truck for the weekend at Colorado National Speedway. Cassidy qualified fourth in a field that saw 15 trucks take the green flag. 
Let's check in with the driver for a post-race recap. Hi everyone, I raced my Matt Coachless Pro Truck at Colorado National Speedway this weekend, and I feel like we did pretty good. I ended up qualifying fourth and finished fourth in the fast dash, and started fifth in the main and finished fourth in the main. I feel like we made some pretty good gains on the new tires that we're running this year, and I'm ready for our next race. I would like to thank Commit to Fitness, Fort Worth Screen Printing, Ra Driven Race Gear, Race Face Brand Development, and the Friends of Jacqueline Foundation for all of their support, and I would like to wish all of the mothers out there a happy Mother's Day. I will be racing my Pro Late model next weekend in California. Up next for Cassidy, Pro Late Models at Madera Speedway on May 22nd. Landon Cox was at North Georgia Quarter Midget Association where he qualified on the pole, setting a new track record for the blue rookie class. Landon was leading the A main, but got collected by another car, but raced his way back to a third place finish. Up next for Landon, Quarter Midgets at Metro Atlanta QMA this weekend. Other drivers seeing action this weekend include Connor Mozak, who will make his ARCA debut at Dover International Speedway on Friday. Gavin Graham pulls double duty in his pro truck, first at Five Flags Speedway on Friday, then Montgomery Speedway on Saturday. Grant Thompson makes his Tundra Super Late Model debut with Casey Johnson Racing at Wisconsin International Raceway on Saturday. Bryce Bizanson will be at State Line Speedway in his number seven Jefferson Racing Super Late Model on Saturday. And Carter Whalen will be back in his quarter midget at Metro Atlanta QMA on Saturday. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Make sure to check out Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. So go out there and have a great race week. I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.